Noob here, and I have an unboxing video for you. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing the 2016 January Oyatsu box. Now, I totally thought I canceled this box, but I guess I didn't because it showed up. It's been sitting in the background forever. I'm sure you guys might have noticed it, and I figured I should probably get all of my January boxes settled and done with. So, let's go ahead and get this box open. I'm not quite sure how much longer I'm going to keep this box, but let's see how it does this month. If you're interested in getting this box, I'll go ahead and put the pricing details in the description below. Alright, once you get the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're going to see. Alright, I see some savory items, so I'm excited. Here's my little cheat sheet. There's, I think there's two different size boxes because some of these items say premium box only and this is the premium box. So the first item that we got is Meat Karamucho Caillou. Super spicy chips. Beef flavor with a spicy taste. Oh, okay, so spicy beef potato chips. Nice. Next we got the Gudetama Gummy. That's the Lazy Egg. I've never had these before, that's exciting. They taste like tangerine and lemon. Then we got Kabaya Panda Cake. Oh, I've gotten this before. It's basically like a wafer with cream in it. Then we got Yoshimura Kelp Crackers. These are sen Senbai, which is rice crackers, and they have seaweed flavor. Then we got Pucho Fizzy Candy. These are Ramune flavored candies. Hard and soft candy infused with sugar coating that fizzes in your mouth. I think I've had these before as well. Then we got Ko Koikia Corn Potage. They're corn puffs. And they taste like corn. I've had these before as well. Then we got Oreo... Oh, jeez. Oreo Hokkaido Milk. Sold only in the northmost island of Hokkaido. The milk used is from dairy farms, a rare treat, winter season... 13 Oreo biscuits inside each bag. I hope they're individually wrapped. That was a premium item, by the way. Now we've hit the premium items. Next we have Skull Candy, Ramune, and Milk. There's three different flavors. I have no idea what the three flavors are. White, pink, and blue. Then we got Poppin' Cookin' Animal Candy. So it's a DIY kit. Then we got Takoyaki Nori. So it's seaweed and it's octopus dumpling flavor. Huh. And then we got our Japanese gachapon. I got a nigiri. I think it's a salmon nigiri. I don't know if this is an eraser. It probably is, right? It feels like an eraser. But there's my gachapon. Okay, so my first thoughts are I actually am, this is kind of a cool box. I definitely have gotten some of these items, but it also came with some new items, which is exciting. So I'm not going to try everything. So we're not going to touch this DIY kit. But one of you guys had a great idea to do a DIY kit during our live stream once that happened. So that was smart. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Um, I'm also not going to try the Pucho Fizzy Candy because I've had that. I'm not going to try the corn potage because I've had that. And I'm not going to try this panda thing because I've had that. So let's go down the line. The first thing we're going to do, actually I'm going to save these chips for last. I'm going to save this nori for last. I'm going to save these crackers for last. So let's do the Oreos first. So there's some kind of milk Oreo. This is the picture that it gave you. It looks like a candy bar. T! What? What are you doing? Wait, are you naked? No. Come over here really quick. Huh? Come here really quick. I know you want to try this. It's Oreo. Come on. You love Oreos. Okay. I just talked to you to come in here to try one of these. T loves Oreos. T eats Oreos. I've never seen anybody eat Oreos like T does. T eats a lot of sweets, actually. Okay. Did you already try it? It's no. white chocolate? Just, come on! Sit down. Come on! It's just one. Look how small it is. What you, you this is this? my new camera. Ugh. It's, it auto-focuses by itself. So I could, you can come a little bit in more and then it should... Maybe it's because my face is in there. Is it focused on your face? Okay, we're going to try these Oreo white chocolate. I didn't tell her it's white chocolate because I know she's not a huge this fan of white chocolate. Is, is it new? The whole camera is new. It auto See, look, watch this. This is what we got. We got Oreo. Ugh, 
Well, it doesn't work when we're all sitting at different areas. Uh, Hurry. Okay. Here we go. Oh. This is what it looks like. It smells good. It smells good. Okay. Like I don't even know what this is, to be I'm honest. I'm gonna eat it. Okay. Wait, is it a cookie? I don't know. It's just like cookies and cream. Like a cookies and cream chocolate bar. Um, I like white chocolate. I don't like white chocolate. I shouldn't like white. But it tastes like the icing from the oil. No, doesn't it? there's a different taste to it. An, an Asian taste? No. These are milky, though. That's what it talks about. No, there's something else that tastes like this before. Yeah. A white chocolate crunch bar. No. What is it? That's what this is. I don't know what this is. It's Hok It's Hokkaido milk. <laughs> so, did you like it? Eh. Why do you always leave your wrappers with me? So, you oh. didn't like it? That's that is okay. okay. I, like the, I like chocolate better. Okay. She didn't like it. But that's cool, though. It's from Asia? What'd you say? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Where is this from? Japan. <laughs> that's in Asia, right? Yes. See? Yeah. yeah, see? Asia. I just asked what you said. Well, it sounded like I, you said ninja because, first. And then I no, like, because the way you like said, would you say? Like, oh. I said it wrong. I was like, you always get so uh. insecure about what you're saying. Happy Chinese New Year! Hey. By the time we post this, it's past Chinese New Year, but today's Chinese New Year. Ooh. It's monkey, right? <laughs> no, it's puppy monkey, baby. That was stupid. That was such a dumb commercial. Puppy monkey baby. It's a monkey, right? <laughs> yes. Are you, what year were you born? The rat? No. I'm an ox. Oh. Yeah, I'm awesome. Oh, damn it. <sighs> you know, when we live stream, you can't cuss <laughs> like that. Like, you're going to have to I got it excited. I got excited. I'm sorry. We're, um, I think as of today, we're at, what are we at? I have no idea. It's because this new app, it doesn't show me how it used to. I have to click on everything. Okay, we are currently 45? 40, 45 subscribers before we hit 3,500. And that means live stream. No, right? that's not. That's not right. That's, you need like. 45. Yeah, 45. <laughs> I'm tired. You always blame it on tired, <laughs> but let's be real. <laughs> Even if you weren't tired right now, you would still be like, that's not right. No, <laughs> what? When I'm drinking, That's I'm good true at math. Story. When you have your watch on, you're good at math. Oh, Even then, sometimes you're watch. not great. Hair looks different when my watch is. It's weird. Probably got singed off. Probably. All right. Okay, goodbye. Adios. She's leaving. I Thanks for trying that with me. Have fun. See you later. I will have fun. She's about to take a shower, which means that it's going to be loud in the background, so you can blame <laughs> her. <laughs> Okay, next we are going to try this Skull candy. So, Ramune milk flavored. I don't know what the different colors represent. I'm going to go with this, this purplish one. doesn't smell like anything. Oh, it's, it's Asian grape. These are actually really good. Uh, they taste a little bit like Ramune. They have a teeny bit of a fizzy flavor. And this one tastes like Asian grape. So, I could eat this. It's good. I don't know what the other flavors are. I'm assuming blue is probably just like regular Ramune. I don't get much milk flavor though. It tastes like a 7-Up though. This is good. Alright, before we hit up all the savory items, let's try one of these uh, Gudetama gummies. That's the Lazy Egg, who apparently is super popular now. Oh, these actually smell really good. It smells like orange and lemon. So, just kind of like regular gummies. I don't know if you can see those. There they are. And they, you can't really tell what they look like. They don't, they don't really look like anything. Oh, I see. Oh, that's so sad. I don't know if this is going to zoom in all the way. Hold on. This gummy looks so sad. It's like curled up in fetal position. That's depressing. Okay, let's try lemon first. It's just like a fruit snack. It's a little bit, it's dense. It's really sweet. Yeah. These just taste like fruit snacks. They have a weird... It's not like your gummy bear consistency. It's like a fruit snack consistency. All right, here we go. Let's try these Yoshimura kelp crackers. They don't really smell like much. These are little like send by rice balls. 
these are okay. There's nothing really special about them. They don't have a strong kelp flavor. They're a little bit crispier than normal rice crackers that we get. Let's try the octopus dumpling flavored uh, seaweed. Man, nothing really smells like anything today. This doesn't, this barely smells like seaweed. These pieces of seaweed are really thick. It's weird. It's like they layered like four pieces of seaweed on one. Oh, I don't know what an octopus dumpling tastes like, but these taste like octopus. That's a little bit strange. I like seaweed and I like octopus. That's not bad. It's got a very strong oceany flavor. All right, the last item that we're gonna try are the spicy beef potato chips. I'm quite excited to try these. They smell like potato chips. I love freaking potato chips so much. They do taste like beef. They're not really that spicy. They do have a small flavor of beef, but they really just taste like barbecue. Yeah, what the heck, these aren't really spicy at all. But the flavor's good. All right, that was your 2016 January Oyatsu box. Um, not a bad box. I got a lot of new items that I've never received before, which is nice. I had actually a good amount of savory items. There's three savory items. Four savory items out of 10. So that's not bad. That's, I mean, most of the time it's usually like one savory item. So yeah, I gotta look at this because I don't know if this is my last Oyatsu box. I thought I canceled it, but this showed up. So maybe this was my last Oyatsu box. And if so, maybe I'll look in to seeing if I can get it again. It's not a bad box. Uh, you know, I've told you guys many times. I'm just kind of over the Japanese snack boxes. I think I've just gotten too many recently. So I'm interested in kind of branching out. But not a bad box. If I had to rate this box, I would actually give this box a... I would give this box a 4 out of 5 noobs because I received a lot of items that I've never gotten in any of my snack boxes. And I had a good amount of savory items, so I like that. Alright, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there, and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought about this box, and remember, if you're subscribed to my channel and your subscriptions are not blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great night, and I'll see you guys later. It's Chinese New Year today, so gung hei fa choi. I don't know Chinese. I know. I said that really American. Sorry. Anyways, see you guys later. Bye!